Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee North. Yep, gonna make another little simple video. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put some, put something on the grill. Yeah, I just want a quick dinner. Um, nothing too strenuous. Um, yeah, it's a nice day, but it's kind of cool outside. It's windy. Yeah, so I'm gonna. I'm going to do something simple. I thought, um, I went to Sam Club and, um, went to give me some plates, styrofoam plates, because I'm the dishwasher and nobody likes to wash dishes. So I had to keep it simple. Yeah. For some reason, even though we're using paper plates, I still end up with a sink full of dishes. And uh, I didn't understand. I think a party goes on after I go to bed. Because when I cut the lights off, there's no dishes in the sink. But when I get up, the sink is full. I wish somebody explained that to me. So, I think I'm all, uh, oh man, look at these pork steaks. It's not some of the biggest steaks you ever seen. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put these on the grill. And maybe cook some corn. Yeah, I'm just gonna boil them. Yeah, I'm not gonna do nothing strenuous. Yeah, I may make some uh, little stove top baked beans. Yeah, some quick. Yeah. The reason why I'm doing it quick is because. Oh, Tessie is tired. Yeah. I'm not tired, tired, but I'm tired. I've been doing a lot of running around. And I know some of you know that. I had to go on a little trip. Uh, one of my cousins passed away and I want to thank everybody for your condolences. Uh, my family appreciate it. And uh, so yeah, I'm back from that and recuperating from, ooh, I had all my grains with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and um, yeah, so. And um, I had a fall. Now, I'm not hurt or anything, but you get my age, God, a fall is a fall. It's a fall, man. Didn't hurt then. You know, it was a little sting, but got right up and coming up on the porch. The very last step. And you know, you can tell when you're getting ready to fall. You say to yourself, oh, I'm going to go down. One knee. Wasn't all the way down. It was just on that one knee. Mm -hmm. And that's thing, it, it, you know, it was stinging. But it wasn't like, you know, kind of rubbed it a little bit and kept going. Yeah. And uh, next day it was still kind of stinging. This was on the Thursday and I went on my trip on that. But Saturday morning, early Saturday morning, like 6 o'clock. Still wasn't like hurting, but it you know, had a little sting to it. Mm hmm. And um, Sunday, oh, I had a bruise like I don't know what. Mm hmm. Now it's at that burgundy stage. You know, it's going black and blue. And yeah. Yeah, who would have thought it just bumped instead of. So that's when you know you're getting old. You can't just bounce back. Mm -mm. That's a little sore. But, uh, Mm -mm. It's not broke or anything, but yeah, it's still a fall. Yeah, this old gray goose, you just can't throw it around. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, all in all, I'm okay. If anything, it bruised my ego and my knee. Man, deadly bruise. Yeah, but I'm okay. Yeah. They didn't want anything to? Man, they stayed on it. Uh, that's how I knew it was sore. Probably if they had never kept getting on it, I probably would never even notice, but yeah. But, yeah, I'm okay. So, you know, yeah, I'm 59, yeah. Oh no, I'm claiming 60, so. Yeah, I'm 60. 
Yeah. You get 60, you can't just... You know, Shoop Shoop is like, oh my goodness. Oh, that was a joke. Yeah. So... Yeah, in my younger days, shoot. You know how you do when you fall, you try to make sure nobody didn't see you. You, went, you was up before you went down. Now you go down, you holler, oh, 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 oh. And then you don't, it might, you don't care if anybody see you now, you just hope to get up. Yeah, but I was able to get up on my own. Mm-hmm. So enough about that fall yeah I'm gonna put some seasoning on there I got this seasoning and I think I already got this seasoning uh, I know it's turned around backwards mm -hmm. I'm gonna start turning the camera around the other way but it's the prime steak um, with black garlic truffle got that Sam Club and um, I have and I'm looking down because I have a bin. One, two, three, four, five, six bins of seasoning. Mm hmm And um, probably maybe only two seasonings maybe might be the same. Yeah. See, everywhere Tennessee North goes, Tennessee North except for seasoning. And um, Tennessee North has been a lot of places. And um, I mean, I, I don't have a rest stop or a, a store, any store. Any store I go in, oh, I don't think I have that. Uh, you know, if I hear somebody on TV say, they say, oh, let me get that. You know, Miss Rachel Richardson. Mm-hmm. I'm watching you, girl. If I see you with some, oh, wait a minute, I don't think I got that. Yeah, I watch your grocery haul. Hmm, I have to see what it, what kind of seasons, because I love a season. And my daughter said, Mom, have you ever opened that? No, I'm, I'm going to get around to it. That's what I do. Oh, and I got one up there, too, and that, that cabinet is full, too. Mm-hmm. If I see uh, Miss Peggy, I'll um, come on in, shake something. Oh, wait a minute, let me see what she's shaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let, let me try that. And I just bought this one. I've been going by it and going by it and Tabitha Brown. And I said, mm, nah, I might not. I, I better go on and get that. So today, I went on and bought that. Tabitha Brown, I'm going to check you out. Yeah, I've been eyeballing it for a few. You know, every time I go by, you know, and I go in Sam's a lot. And I thought, mm, I might not. So, you ain't got to be vegan to try it. Mm -hmm. It might be good. So I bought it. Yeah. And I'll probably shake some of it today. On my steaks. It ain't gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. I like to season my meat. I, I like a lot of seasoning on it. Yeah. I don't like bland food. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know if I try it. So I used to kind of tap it a little bit. And I ain't going to taste the raw meat. I'm going to taste it. Then I'm going to see mm, whether I'm going to put it on there or not. Yeah. See, I love grilling. Mm-hmm. And my grills, if the bottom comes out, I'm getting another one. Yeah. I have three grills lined it up out there. And they go from large to medium to not my little one. That little one with the look, I gave that to my sous chef's mom. She lives in an apartment. She ain't gonna grill. Maybe a hot dog. Yeah, if that. And, um, and I think I probably bought it, so I give it to her. Um, she wasn't gonna buy herself one, so I bought it, and then I so huh, take this home with you. That's what I usually do. Buy stuff for my children, but I I let them think I'm buying it for myself, and then I pass it to them. Yeah. So, I'm the big grill person. I, I got to have a big grill. Yeah, them little ones. I, no. 
and the smoker and that smoker I showed out there that's my newest smoker because I had a big smoker and my big smoker played out <sighs> hurt my feelings mm -hmm. so that right there that's just a replacement until I find me a big one with the pellets mm -hmm. I got a lot of gadgets yeah I got a brown stone out there and he never plugged it up I mean, it's not plug up it's a propane and he never took it out of the box had it over a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get to that. Yeah, so I'm gonna let y'all see me cook something out there. If it ain't number the hamburger, I'm gonna cook something on it. So, I'm not gonna keep rambling. I'm gonna get to these steaks, put this corn on, and I think I'm gonna make some uh, stovetop baked beans. Mm -hmm. I also wanna put some apples in it. Yeah. So I tried some apples. Turned out pretty good. Mm hmm Now I might not do it the way they did it. But you know how Tennessee North do. Mm hmm I'ma do it my way. Mm hmm Yeah. So don't come and say Tennessee North that ain't the way. Uh well, you know, this Tennessee North way. Mm hmm And they did theirs in the well, I ain't gonna do mine like that. I'm gonna do mine my way. Mm hmm Yeah. So, my version. Yeah. I'm the one got to eat it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I told you. My recipe. Mm-hmm. I took their idea, and if it don't turn out good, I'm still going to eat it anyway. Mm-hmm. So, Hang in there. I'll be back. Okay, we're outside. I'm going to use this grill. I got two more under here. Smoke is covered up over there. Just bought me a new brush. This is my other one. I have wore down. And I'm like Tiana. I don't take my grill off and let it burn off. I don't take it off and wash it. I light it and I let it burn. Take this. This is a metal one. I just used it a couple of days ago. And just scrape. up a little closer. Can you see intact? Yeah. Now this grill right here, <clears throat> Mr. put a, a metal plate underneath there to help keep the bottom from going rust, rusting out. Now I'm going to raise it up. <clears throat> this has three plates in it. I'm going to move some of this over here to my smoker side. Normally, I would take it out, but I'm not going to take it out right now. I'm going to move it over here to the smoker side. And I'll scoop it out for my next cookout. You don't want all those ashes.
And I'm just putting down here four pork steaks. They're pretty large. And I'm gonna put on uh, four chicken breasts. I'm gonna move that over. And I'm using the instant light. You ain't gotta put no light fluid on this. This is Walmart's brand. Chicken breasts don't take that long, and pork steaks don't either. Slide this back over. I'm using the lighter with the long stick. That way I ain't got to... Uh... I can reach down in there. Throw my trash away. And let that coals burn off. Then we'll go get our meat ready. There's my car out there in the driveway. I'm out on the side of the house. I have my grills lined up at. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. We're going to season this ribeye. I mean, these are not ribeyes. These are pork steaks. And I don't know how to tell. You can tell how thick they are. They're real thick. So I got them laid out here. I done washed them. I got them laid out here in the sink, and I had four of them. <clears throat> they're big and they're thick, and I cut them in half. <clears throat> okay, so I've washed them real good. I got my bleach water right there. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take some Italian seasoning. I put a lot of seasoning on my meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that part there. 
So I'm going to put this Italian seasoning all over them, front and back. When I get them up in the pan, you'll see what, I'm, what they look like. And I'm going to flip them. The sink is clean. I'm going to clean the sink. And then put some of this on the back side. Okay. And then I'm going to put some salt on it. Not a lot, but I'm going to put some salt. Everything I put on the front, I'm going to put on the back. Then I'm going to put some of this Texas Roundup um, barbecue rub. So I'm flipping with one hand, seasoning with the other hand. And I'm putting some... <clears throat> some tenderizer on it. Sport steaks are never really tough anyway, but I always put a little bit on there. Okay. And Old Faithful, my soul food, Sylvia seasoning. Now, I didn't get this in Walmart. Um, I haven't found this in Walmart. It's one of our local stores here that I get it from, and I don't think, this is called Hilltop. And I'm pretty sure, um, I don't know if any of y'all had to local store, but I'm sure you can look it up. You might find a store in your area that carries it. If not, you can probably go online. I think she's out of New York, someone told me. Okay, I'm going to put some, well, here's the black pepper, the bigger one. And you probably said, that's a lot of seasoning. Yep. And that right there was some all-purpose American, that's going on there, all-purpose American barbecue. Black pepper. Now I'm putting down heavy, that way I won't have to turn it over and do it. I'm going to work them around. That way I won't have to flip them. That's the reason for their heaviness. Garlic powder. I was going to flip them, but if I go heavy, I can just massage them all together. Yeah. See all that seasoning on it? Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to massage it all together. Now I got a foil pan here. I'm going to lay them in the foil pan. Yeah. I got eight pieces because it was four of them. And I cut them in half. And there they go. Okay. I'm going to put some foil over top of this.
Hold on. Now I have some chicken breasts. Four chicken breasts. Now chicken breast is tender. But I'm going to add some zesty Italian on it. Same seasoning, but I'm not going to put no tenderizer on this. And this is the sweet and smoky barbecue seasoning. Okay. All American. Same that I put on the pork steaks. Good enough. Good little amount because I'm going to massage all this in. The Texas Roundup. A little bit of salt. <coughs> Put my shirt over my face. <coughs> Sylvia. Black pepper. Garlic powder. And some onion powder. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in and massage this in. Okay, got it all seasoned. Now, on top of this foil, so I don't have to take two pans out. Top of this foil, I'm gonna lay the chicken breast. So I'm not cross-contaminating anything. And then I'm gonna put foil over top of this and I can take one pan outside. Like so. Okay, let me cover this. Then we're going to get started on the baked beans. While we wait on our fire to get ready. Okay. <clears throat> I'm kind of all over with this video. We need a little dessert. I still got some homemade... Vanilla ice cream that no one has seen. So I'm going to make these box brownies. Yeah, box brownies. So, and these are walnut supreme, or supreme walnut. And we're going to put it with that vanilla ice cream. Then we're going to get to the, um, the baked beans. I'm just making a small one. I got a surprise for you. Yeah. Now it calls for, follow the recipe. It calls for a third of a cup of oil. And a fourth of a cup of water. Let's see. And one egg. 
Let me get an egg. So I'm kind of making this as I go. This wasn't in the plans, but hey, it's not gonna hurt, is it? You know that saying, Tennessee North House, Tennessee North Ways. Yeah, hold on. Let me get some spray, because I don't want it to stick. Gonna spray a dish. Got my one egg in here. Third of a cup of oil, fourth of a cup of water. I'm gonna go in here and take my ice cream out so it can kind of unthaw a little bit. Oh, my ice cream freeze harder than regular ice cream. Mm-hmm. You'll see. Yeah. Let's stir this up real good. You need something to go with the ice cream. and check out fire. That'll be getting that right. You don't want to put your meat on too early because it'll burn. You got to let it die down, cool down just a little bit. You put it on there too fast, the fire still come up, you're going to have burn up meat. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Let your coals get white. No fire. And you got to watch it. Don't put it on there and walk away and uh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. All right. And get this stirred up a good. Follow the recipe on your brownies. Don't take much. You want to make sure your egg and stuff is incorporated. What no need getting the blender out for this. Yeah. Little elbow is all you needed. The nuts come already in this mix. And you can add some other stuff. I mean, make this your own. Add some other stuff to it if you like. Okay. I'm going to put it in a glass pan. good stuff out of here. This smells delicious. But if I was you, I wouldn't like this for all eggs. Mm -mm. Okay. Gonna pop this in the oven. Be right back. Okay. So, I'm gonna do some beans here. Some bushes baked beans. It's only me and the mister's going to eat them. Whatever I fix, uh, mister don't complain. You don't know what's in it. So, I got a little piece of onion here. I'm going to put it in the chopper here. 
And like I said, it's an experiment here. So I got my chopper here. I'm going to put this onion in here. Okay. And then I'm going to put me a piece of bell pepper in here. I'm not going to put the whole thing. I'm going to put part of it in here. Because I'm not making that much. Like I said, I'm taking you on a journey. Roll with me now. Okay. Gonna take this mixture swing around here Take these onions and green pepper, and I'm going to put it in this saucepan. Let me get some butter and put it in there. Gonna be a first time ever here. Got a half a stick of butter. Maybe a little less than a half. And I'm gonna put that in there with it. I'm gonna give me some cinnamon. Sugar. Let's see. Okay, that's my sugar. And my cinnamon here. And let's get some sugar.
Okay. And in the beginning of this video, I said, I'm going to try that apple pie baked bean. I don't have any apples. I thought I did. Because I tried the apple pie once before. So, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to make peach pie baked beans. Never tried it before. But, I'm going to give it a try. Like I said, if it don't turn out, I'm still going to eat it. So, what I've done is, I've drained some of the juice off of the peaches. And I'm going to put in the uh, chopper. And I got those onions and green peppers sauteing. And I'm going to put some of the peaches. Because I'm only going to use one little can of um, beans. So... I'm not going to use all of these peaches. I'm just going to use a few so I can get that flavor. Okay. About one. Now I'm going to incorporate just a little of the peach juice because this is in heavy syrup. Okay. I didn't puree it, but I broke it up good. Like so. Okay. I poured off a lot of the juice off of the baked beans. Let's go back around here to the stove. I tell you something new. We all gonna learn something today. Okay. Now I'm gonna pour my baked beans in. I'm gonna cut it down low. Cause I don't want it to cook fast. Now I got the baked beans. I got the onions and green peppers and already sauteed. So they're soft. And we're going to do this stove top. Now I'm going to add my peaches. Now I didn't add all those peaches, but I did pretty much. I only got that much left in it, so. And I said I didn't puree it, but I, I got it down where you can still feel the texture on it. And to this, I'm going to add I'm going to add some cinnamon. All peaches need cinnamon. Add some peaches. And, and my baked beans. I always put barbecue sauce. I'm going to add some barbecue sauce to these. Some more barbecue sauce. Use all of 
And I always put a little mustard in my baked beans. Like I said, I'm working this up as I go. If it turn out, we'll call this peach pie baked beans. And I always put a little syrup in mine. This is a regular pancake syrup. Okay. Hold on, let me go get some more barbecue sauce. Okay, I got some more barbecue sauce. Now I'm going to add some sugar. Now I didn't measure. Onions, green pepper, a little mustard, barbecue sauce, a little syrup, peaches, and baked beans. Now we just gotta let it cook. Let's see what we're going with. Mmm. Mmm, okay. And some cinnamon. I think I'm going to add just a little more cinnamon to that. And I think I want a little more mustard in it. Just a little more. I need a little more of that tanginess to it. Just a little more tanginess. Okay, clean spoon. See what we're working with. Mmm. Think we might be on to something here, y'all. missing my relish. Let me see if I got some relish. I always put relish in mine. Let's see. Let's see if we got some relish in here.
Okay, I got some relish. That's right. I put relish in mine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To each his own. I think it's time for us to go ahead and put our meat on. Okay. Plain spoon. That's it. Mm hmm That's it. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. Mm hmm Let's go out and put our meat on. Is my steaks going on? Huh? I'm I'm busy. Alright, well we're leaving. Where you going? Let me talk to my Mumu. Hold on. Okay. Back checking on our foot. And before Before I have to, well, I really don't care what you say anyway. See these tongs right here? I put them on with one. And you're going to say, well, you cross contempt. Mm -mm. Yeah, two of them. And since then, I've been in the house and washed both of them. Two pans. Yeah. So I don't want to hear about, well, Tennessee, no, no, Tennessee, no, it didn't. But I don't owe you no explanation because it's Tennessee North House. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to flip these. And these are pork steaks, not beef steaks, pork. And these are the chicken. Yeah. I got some who are quick to say what what you did and what you didn't do. You saw me put one down, but you didn't see me pick the other one up. Yeah. But I thought I'd clarify it. Not that I owe you an explanation, but I thought I'd let you know. Mm -mm. Yeah. So I'm going to get a little mopping sauce. And, um... Put on these. Pork steaks don't take long. And of course, you know, chicken breasts don't either. When they don't have a bone in it, chicken breasts don't take long at all. Oh, man, if you could smell them. 
Yeah. It smells wonderful. Yeah, something told me. I said, you better go out there and say, because since I was out here, I done been paused you. And I went inside while I was talking to my grandchild out here. Because she stopped by. Sue Chef stopped by. Her and her mom walked up while I was talking, while I was putting these on. And then I went in the house. I said, while well, I'm on pause, I'll go ahead and wash this stuff and come back out. Yeah. So. Let me go get the mopping sauce. And I'll be back. Okay. I'll mop it a little bit. A little homemade sauce. And this is just a little vinegar. Hot sauce. A little syrup, seasoning, <clears throat> some different kind of seasonings. Just some little mixture of something I throw together. Flip it. Don't mop this side. Okay, next time you see this meat, it'll be in the house. Yeah. Let this sauce kind of adhere to it. Yeah, so I got my corn on. Birds resting in trees. Birds don't like me. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, I got a story to tell you. On another time. Yeah. So I'm going to um, let that sauce adhere to that. And uh, yeah. My, maybe another 20 minutes. Let it smoke on there good. Then I'm going to take it in the house and I'll see you then. Okay, it's finished. Kept it simple. Chicken, pork steak, and corn with some butter on it. And I'm also gonna put some ranch seasoning on the, on the corn.
I'm gonna put some steak sauce on the steak and a little bit on the chicken. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh, excuse me for the shaking. And I got some coke on board for the drink. Let me speak to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. Notice I didn't wear no apron today. No. Didn't feel like putting it on today. Okay. Let's see what this pork steak tastes. See how easy it was to cut? Mm hmm Some tell me this is gonna be good. Tender, season well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Like butter. Mm -mm. I'm happy to do that another try. Mm -mm -mm. No. Probably could have cut it with the. I have another bite. Cut it, cut it with just a fork. Mmm. 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 Have mercy. Mmm. Yeah. Let's see what this corn tastes like. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, let's see what this chicken doing. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Don't worry, I'm going to offer you some of this too. See it? That nice chard on it. Mm. Got those lines on it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Season very well. Mm. There's no way to over season. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Mm. <coughs> You need to see this plate again. 
I'm gonna close. This way you grill. Mm hmm. That's where you grill. Mm hmm. Chicken did it in another bite. I don't discriminate. Okay. I always share. Mm. 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 Sweet. Got that corn that Sam's come. Mm. Very good, very good. Mm. Mm. Can't forget the coat. I think coke tastes better in a glass. Oh my word. Mm. Make you wish summer hurry up and come on. Mm. It don't have to be warm to grill. I grill all year round. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I'm not going to fill up on this. I got that homemade ice cream to show you. Hold on. Okay. Now here's the homemade ice cream that I made. Yeah. Here's the brownie I just made today. And here's the homemade ice cream that you didn't get to see in the other video. Yeah. Yeah. You put it with that brownie. So mm. where I remember it as a child. Mm. They would make a little pudding and sauce with it. Or some chocolate cake or something. Yeah. Oh, my ice cream. And a brownie. I made three flavors that day. Strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all get a chance to try that recipe. It's, a, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Throw something extra in it. Make it your own. Get the base down. I don't know. Throw some caramel in it. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that don't take me back. Mm-hmm. Get a bowl of this. Oh my goodness. Especially on days when it's real hot. We were kids. Mm, my God. Mm. I almost missed my mouth. Make me miss my mom. She could really make some ice cream. <clears throat> Everybody knew her for it, too. Mm-hmm. Used to make homemade boiled custard in the holidays. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Now, I can't drink the store bought kind, but I can drink the homemade. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, this whole meal has been whoo yeah the steak the chicken oh my god mm. you gotta smell it oh and it tastes it's, it's tender it's brownie it's got walnuts in it mm-hmm and the ice cream mm, takes you back. Sure has taken me back. Mm-hmm. Ice cream be running down your arm. Be so good. Mm-hmm. These kids, we be running around barefooted, stepping on that ice that come out of the ice maker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we look forward to that ice cream. Didn't get it often. Just in the summertime. Yeah. Mom would go to the ice house. And the ice would come in a big brown bag. And um, the general would scoop it with a big shovel. Fill up these big brown bags. Big brown bags. And... Uh, Take it home and sit out on the back porch and feel the ice cream maker. And us kids, we love to do that. Mm-hmm. And as that ice would come out, boy, they pour it out and start a new one. We love to step on that ice. Find out how those little simple things made us happy back then. Tell some kids to do something like that today. What? Kids don't know how to be kids. Somebody then took all that away from them. Seems to me if it don't uh, cost an arm and your leg, it ain't fun. They don't know. Mm-mm. That kind of fun was priceless. Priceless. What I wouldn't give for those days now. What I wouldn't give for my kids and grandkids to remember those days. I tried to install some of that in my kids when they were coming up. These new kids. Mm -mm. I used to get down and read to mine and play with them. These new mothers, they don't play with their kids. Very few of them read to their kids. And we wonder why they want to play with guns. Because the parents ain't got time to play with them. 
They got other stuff to play with now. Well, I ain't tired of talking, but you know the routine. If you like anything about this video, give me a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, tell someone about me. Yeah. Uh, hit the notification button so. The next time I got a video coming, you know I got another one coming. Yeah. See you on the next video. Don't forget to try out my, uh, my big bean. Ain't got no apples. Try another fruit. I did. You didn't get it? Hold on. Now, were y'all gonna let me go, let y'all go without letting you taste the peach leg beans? <sighs> They're wonderful. Let me bring it up here to you. Got some chicken on it right there. When I tell you. <sighs> Mmm. You know, it tastes like peach pie. Got that little subtle hint of, you know, cinnamon and peaches go together. Mm-hmm. 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 I almost forgot to let you taste them. Mm-hmm. 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 Peach pie baked bean. Mm-hmm. Who knew? You can throw apples in there. You can throw peaches too. Ain't no telling what other kind of fruit you can throw in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Until next time. Next video.